Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we are going to be creating a table and we're going to be using the even and uh, the even and odd selectors to actually uh, change a class of a particular um, table row. So I have uh, uh, an index page here. Um, what I've done is I've included table.js uh, as part of my JavaScript include files. Uh, and I've also got style.css, which is quite important because we're going to be creating a class that's going to change the tables, uh, the rows of the table, uh, evenly or oddly. Now I have an example just here. Uh, you can see that we've got um, the first one with the background slightly, uh, you know, a darker or a lighter gray uh, and then we have white and then we have this gray again and then white and if this table was longer it would continue to select the first uh, second um, fourth etc uh, etc et uh, rows in the table uh, so this is all done using jQuery so let's just go ahead um, and uh, open up uh, my text editor again I'm gonna go ahead and create this table first of all so we create a table here. We're going to give this a class name in just a moment. Uh, but now, for now, I'm just going to create some rows. And then inside that, some table data. And for the first one, I'm just going to say first row. So first row. We can go ahead and copy and paste this down to make four rows. Uh, and just go ahead and modify these accordingly. So just while I'm typing these out, this could be, uh, for example, data that's retrieved from a database table uh, that you might have put, put into a table. For example, for each row of data, you might be uh, displaying a table row uh, and then the data inside of this. So you might want to uh, find an easy way to append a class to this table uh, in order to get the effect that we've just looked at in my browser. So let's go ahead and continue filling this in. And we'll say, uh, should we say last or fourth? We'll say fourth. Okay, so we've got these uh, rows in the table. Let's just go ahead and see what that looks like. Uh, you can see there's no borders at the moment, but we can fix that in style.css in just a moment. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this table a class. Uh, for now, I'm just going to call it table. Uh, but if you do want uh, to create, say, tables that display this effect, uh, you might want to go ahead, get ahead and give it a more distinctive name. But for now, we're going to keep it as table. So inside style.css, let's go ahead and change uh, the uh, styling of this. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and create some borders on this. Uh, so we'll say border, one pixel, solid, and black. Uh, here, we're also going to need to say table tr and also table td. Uh, and that'll just ensure that we get borders around everything. So now that we've done this, we want to go ahead and use jQuery to highlight the uh, even rows or the odd rows, depending. Um, so we can actually use jQuery to select the even rows on this table or the odd rows on this table uh, and then highlight them accordingly. And what we're going to need to do is create a class that we're going to add to each uh, row. And that class I'm just going to call highlight. So I'm, all I'm going to do in here is set the background color of this class to f0 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 uh, which was the color that you saw in the first part of the tutorial now that we've done this we've completely set up our page we've added this highlight class uh, as well as modified this class that we referenced uh, with the table uh, and now we can go ahead and write our jQuery code uh, so we're going to ensure that the document is loaded and the DOM is ready so we're going to say uh, document document ready and then inside here is a function inside these uh, curly brackets here is where our code is going to be so we'll just pull them down slightly okay so now what we want to do is add a class to this table now if for example we wanted to go ahead and add a class to the entire table we would use um, a selector and we would say dot table remember it's a class selector uh, and then we would say dot CSS oh, sorry no we could use CSS to manually uh, do it but we want to add this existing class that we've created uh, this highlight class in our style.css file so inside here we just go ahead and specify the class that we want to apply to this particular element uh, and in this case it will just highlight the entire table uh, however this is obviously isn't the effect that we're looking for the first thing we want to do is highlight only the rows you can see at the moment we've highlighted the entire table uh, we only want to highlight the rows so we specify table tr uh, and this will just highlight each table row you can see that the gray has disappeared from the outside borders uh, now what we want to go ahead and do is select only even um, elements in this set. So essentially what we're doing is we're matching this TR set 
and we use a colon to do this uh, and then we type in either even or odd and this will select the uh, either even or odd table uh, TRs so each one of these elements uh, will select either the even or odd and then apply that particular class here using add class uh, to these so now that we've done that we can go ahead and refresh uh, and you can see that the effect that we get is we've highlighted the first row left the second row highlighted the third row uh, and left the fourth row uh, and if we were to go ahead and say modify this and just add some more uh, table rows let's just go down and add some more in uh, you can see that we get exactly the same effect we've highlighted the first third uh, five, fifth, sorry, uh, yeah, and so on, so on, and so forth. So, an unlimited amount of data. We're going to use the even to select each one, and again, we can change this to odd as well, uh, and that will just change uh, how we do that. So these are the even and the odd selectors in jQuery and they don't just need to be applied to uh, tables, uh, they can be applied to say a set of paragraphs, um, it, it entirely depends. For example, uh, we could change this to a div, uh, for example, uh, we could say uh, div and then all odd paragraphs we apply uh, the highlight to. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just quickly demonstrate this now. Uh, let's go ahead and create a div here. And let's just pull that down and let's just type uh, what's the name that we gave this uh, we will just call it um, area for example uh, so we'll give this an ID of area now inside here we could have a few paragraphs and all of them could contain uh, just from some text for example so text 1 text 2 text 3 and text 4 uh, so now we have something looking like this. Uh, so now what we can do is in table.js, we can select all the paragraphs, all the odd paragraphs inside area and add this highlight class to them. So now when we refresh, you can see that we get exactly the same effect uh, where we've added this background color uh, to each paragraph. So it's versatile in the sense that you can use it with uh, almost all elements, uh, even sort of input fields, you could you know highlight every one. Uh, however, the main, um, you know, useful demonstration for this uh, is using tables as we did initially. So that's the even and odd selectors in jQuery.